What's up everyone? So yeah, I'm back. Um, I know there was a stretch of time where I wasn't making videos and it was basically because I, I started a new job and I don't know, just summer came up. I've been doing a lot of things outside and I don't know, I got a little lazy. So um, I'm back and I'm, I'm trying to do just more like face-to-face -face videos so hopefully I can make more at, at a faster rate so it's not that long uh, between videos. So cool. So I remember I made a video about um, reasons why not to go to BYU, and um, and people that are close to me and even my family members know like I had a hard time there, and that's something I'll discuss in a future video most likely. But some people ask me then why did I go to BYU, and there's kind of like a story behind that, and that and it's a very interesting story, and I hope. Um, I want that's something I want to share with y'all, and I hope y'all enjoy it. I think it's a really good story, so yeah. So basically, God made me go to BYU, and um, I'll tell you why. So, like, before my mission, I wasn't really planning on even like I did very well in school. But I didn't really plan on going to college because it wasn't something that like my parents didn't go to college and I didn't have I don't know like it was like more of a money thing I didn't think I would have money but um, I was able to start at a community college and it was like much cheaper and they were able to offer me um, like um, um, grants and uh, scholarships so it just paid for itself so I was like cool that's fine I'll do that I'll do just go the community um, college route and then I went on my mission um, I came back and I was at the point where I needed to transfer to a university and uh, I'm from Florida so I started looking at uh, universities in Florida and, um, and the thing about universities in Florida is like they're good universities but they're notoriously known to be party schools like the biggest party schools in the country like just spring break is like nuts over there in Florida and at all the colleges uh, all the universities so I didn't I didn't know how I would do there so I just started looking at different universities in different states and stuff and I don't know I just had this nagging feeling about BYU specifically and like it n I never thought of ever applying to BYU because like I didn't feel like I would ever fit there um, all the people I knew that went to BYU didn't look at me look like me didn't act like me and didn't come from a background like me so it's not something I ever thought about applying ever or going to um, so I started looking, I don't know, I decided, it just this idea just kept on nagging on my head. So, like, I decided to look up, like, the, um, the requirements and stuff, because, um, I forgot to take the ACT or SAT. Like, I just, well, the things I was never planning on going to college, so I chose not to take it, because I didn't think I was going to need it. And that's the other thing I was worried about, because... All these colleges, they ask you for SAT and SAT scores, but you know, after not being in school for two years, I knew if I took that test, I'd be, I wouldn't do very well. So I didn't know what kind of college, I, uh, university, I'd be get, be able to get into. Uh, but I looked up um, the requirements, and as a transfer student, because I was doing college, all uh, like I had like you know a certain number of credits. I didn't have to submit an ACT or SAT score. I just submitted my GPA and my like transcript, and I had a very good. I did very well, um, especially in a community college. So I was like, okay, that's cool. But then I looked at the other requirements. You know, you have to write like some essays. I was like, okay, the I'll do that. I can do that. Um, but then there was like the other thing was you have to be interviewed by your bishop and your stake president, and like get endorsements from them. And um, the deadline was that weekend. Like, it was like a couple of days in a couple of days. So, I didn't, I was like, oh man, well, I kind of missed my chance because my, like, I was in Florida at the time. 
and my bishop and my state president, we all live like very far from each other. In Florida, you know, uh, your state president doesn't live next door, like here in Utah. Um, everyone lives very far away and, and everyone's busy and stuff. But I was actually um, asked to uh, like speak at a state conference. There was a conference like a Saturday night. They called me and they're like, hey, uh, because I came back from a mission, we think you'd be a good uh, speaker. And I was like, okay, cool. And then I thought, I was like, hey, is the stake president and my bishop going to be there? And they're like, oh, yeah, they're going to be there. And I was like, oh, okay. Do you all think you have time to like interview me? Because I'm thinking of applying to BYU. And they said, oh, yeah, sure, of course. So I was like, oh. I can probably make the deadline now. So I started uh, my my essays. I didn't really tell anyone. I told my mom, but other than her, I didn't really tell anyone about like I was up planning on playing there. And then I, I didn't and and I I don't know. Like it was really weird because I felt really good with the interviews that I did and they were being very supportive and but yeah, it was really crazy because like the night of I like finally like wrote the essays and turn in all the paperwork, the transcripts and and you know sent the endorsements and everything and like the night of the deadline it was like I, it was pretty late it was like 8, 9, 10 like p.m. night of the deadline I like submitted the application and I was like alright there's my 60 bucks or 70 bucks whatever you know I paid whatever you know the application fee whatever it is I was like, oh, all right, I guess I'll just wait. And as time, more time gone by, I was like, oh, like, I don't think, you know, I don't, I, I don't know why I applied. And maybe I should start applying to other universities because, I don't know, I'm kind of wasting time. But I felt, I don't know, this nagging feeling that I need to apply there and not, like, to any other university. So... Um, eventually, uh, I get an email from BYU, and I was like, oh, okay, so I got rejected. And the reason why I thought that initially was because, like I said, I'm the first one in my family to go to uh, university, to go, or go to college. And in the movies, when you get accepted to a university, um, they send you a letter in the mail, and then you open it. And then it says, hey, you were, you know, you've been accepted to wherever, whatever college or university. So that was my frame of reference. In my mind, BYU was going to, if I was going to be accepted, they were going to send me a, uh, a letter. And I was going to open it. I was going to be like, oh, yeah, you know, great. But uh, since they sent me an email, I was like, oh, okay, well, I got, obviously, I got rejected. Like, why would, it, like, they, they, they just said a rejection email to me. Uh, <clears throat> so, um, I opened the email, I'm like, and they're like, oh, Jonathan, um, after reviewing your application, we are happy to, you know, accept you in the uh, class of, you know, whatever, 2012, fall of 2012. And I was like, oh, really? I was accepted. And I was kind of like, oh, man, I'm going to have to move to Utah. I'm going to have to move to Provo, Utah. And, I don't know, it was a, a lot of mixed feelings, I wasn't ready, I don't know. I just got back home from my mission, and I was planning on staying more f time with my family, but, um, but I knew I had to leave, like I had to go. Um, that, um, God, I don't know, gave me this impression, and everything fell in line for it, um, you know, the deadline, the the um, interviews, the uh, ACT, SAT requirements, like everything, everything fell in line for me to apply there and get accepted. And I'm the type of person, like, if, like, to me, that's kind of how God, in my mind, helps me when I'm making decisions. I kind of figure out, like, what falls in line, what's working, what isn't working. And in my mind, that's how kind of God helps me to make decisions. If I'm trying to make a difficult decision and I just keep on getting like bad 
like obstacles and obstacles and obstacles and um, then a lot of times I'm like oh I don't think that's what God wants me to do a lot of times it's more like the road is being kind of placed before me and you know you still have to like work you know you, like I still have to apply and do the interviews and everything but everything was falling in line you know a line and um, and yeah like I booked a flight went to Utah and I started you know schooling there and um, and I'll definitely go into more uh, in my next video about my experience there and why it was so mixed um, and even you know looking back even now um, uh, I'm happy I went and I don't understand 100% everything the reason why I was supposed to like, go to school there um, but I did learn I did meet um, my closest like friends like I know these are people that I'm gonna live I'm gonna like be with, like my whole life like we're gonna be in touch for the rest of our lives and um, so at the very least um, I was able to meet those people and they had a huge huge effect on me so uh, there's a lot of other things I don't understand completely and maybe one day I will maybe maybe one day I will I won't I don't know but um but for me um, just knowing that like God you know paved this way for me to do it um, I just kept going even though I there was a time where uh, I got to the point where like after my first semester I was I was very close to dropping out to transfer to another school and that's why I want my next video to be about just kind of when I almost dropped out of BYU um, but yeah but I hope you enjoy that video or I hope you I hope you enjoy um, this story you know um, it's just a personal experience that happened to me and hopefully you know it helps you and whatever you know life decisions you're trying to make you know um, but yeah um, you know if you like the video like it you know you can subscribe and keep watching more videos I'm definitely gonna be working on making more videos um, more regularly and make them just more streamlined just kind of like what we're doing but yeah um, thanks for watching have a good day